Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements and basic training for Adobe Photoshop Elements. And in this last session, we want to look at the different ways we can output our photos or output our photo files. Now, the simplest way to output a photo file is to simply go to the File menu and select Save or Save As. And here you have options on the save screen to save your file in a number of different formats. Everything from a PSD, which is a Photoshop file in which you can save layers, you can save all of your work, or the more conventional photo files like bitmap, GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs, TIFFs. And those will do for most photo files. You also have the option of optimizing photos for use on the web. If you select under the file menu, save for web, you can save your file as a JPEG, as a ping, or as a GIF file. And this little screen here will help you optimize it for whatever size you want, at whatever size file you want. And it's really a nice screen for outputting files specifically for use on the internet. We'll close that. But your photos, or the things that you're outputting aren't necessarily going to be just standard flat photo files. For instance, if we go into the Enhance menu, we have a couple of options here for creating moving photos. We've seen this in the last couple generations of the program. If I were to select Moving Photos, it opens our photo in a work area where we can add some animation to our photo. And this animation, it's very cool, will actually break the photo into several layers and make it appear to move in three dimensions. Let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, you notice we have a number of movements here on the right hand side. Let's double click pan left to right and apply that to this picture. And even though this is just a flat snapshot, you can see the tool makes it appear that objects are moving in three dimensions. Pretty cool, right? And you can apply a number of those. For instance, we can do uh, zoom in and out. And now it appears that we're actually entering the photo here in three dimension. So if we were to select export, from this, we'd have to export it in a file format that maintained that animation. And so if I click on export, you see that my options here now are to save it as an MP4 video file or an animated GIF. Either one of those, you put them up on Facebook or a social media site and they should loop, or at least the animated GIF will. It will loop and we'll see that motion repeated over and over again. So that's kind of cool, another option for outputting your photo, even though technically it's not just a photo anymore at this point. We'll cancel that, go back to our picture. Also, if you take a look in the upper right-hand corner, there's a Share tab, and if I click on that, I have some options for uploading my photo directly to Flickr or to Twitter or to Facebook, and this is very nice. The program will actually interface with these websites. All you need to do is the first time you do it, you're going to have to authorize the connection between the program and your account, and after that, it'll be a cinch. You can just select Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and it will just send this picture as is right up to that site. Pretty cool. Also worth checking out are the Create options. Now, you'll see a similar Create menu in the Organizer, which is the companion program that comes with Photoshop Elements and with Premiere Elements. And if we go under the Create button, you'll see you can grab a number of photos and create a slideshow, create a photo collage, a quote graphic, you can print, you can create photo books, greeting cards, photo calendar, and even have prints and GIFs sent to Fujifilm to have them professionally created for you. So Photoshop Elements, a tremendously powerful program, a tremendously versatile program that can do a lot of very interesting things and output a lot of very different files. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know the program with me and I hope that I've kind of opened your eyes to just all the opportunities and all the potential available in the program. If you want to know more about the basics of the program or the advanced features, be sure and check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything there is to know, 
about Photoshop elements or Premiere elements, be sure and check out our books. The MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements, the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements, both of them are available at Amazon.com. And I'm Steve Grizzetti. I'm the guy who wrote the book. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.